Oh, hi. It's future me. Welcome to Vlogmas episode one. I forgot to film an intro, so I'm editing now. <laughs> and here I am. Hello. Hi. I hope you enjoy my Vlogmas episodes. This one starts off with a little get ready with me. Um, if you want to skip past that, skip to like seven minutes in because it's long because I'm playing with my new haircut for the first time, doing my full face of makeup, which I obviously do not do every day, but when I do, I like to go all out. So if you're not interested in any of that, you can skip right ahead, but I do want to point out that all of the music at the beginning of this episode is by my husband. So he wrote this little like loop ditty that sounds like he calls it Victoria because it sounds like what the Victoria's Secret models walk down the runway to. <laughs> so I was like, that'll be perfect for my little get ready with me montage. So I hope you enjoy. But if you're not interested in that part, just skip ahead and you will get straight to the um Spun's third birthday celebration, which will make more sense when you get there. But anyways Hello, welcome to Vlogmas.
guys, I'm heading out to Spun right now in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's my one of my favorite yarn shops. It's also one that I teach at often. And today they're celebrating their third birthday celebration. And also um, they have a chunk show with Why Not Fibers, Kat and Claire. And so I'm really excited I get to see them again. They actually um, sent me the yarn for this uh, vanilla extract sweater that I'm gonna be publishing soon. So let's get over there. It's gonna take me about 45 minutes and it's rainy and super gross outside, but you can come with me and I'm not going to film while I drive, I promise. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay, you guys, we're here at Spun. So let's go ahead and head in. You can see it right up there. <laughs> Join me inside. in this size plus one contrasting color for the pocket. And they carry it here. I'm just gonna leave it all here for a minute. That's awesome. Because I get to edit all of this later. That's awesome! <laughs> that is so cool. I know. So uh, how often are you gonna do it? I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to do every day. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. I know. Maybe you are. No, okay. I might be. You might be. Oh, we're all it's December. <laughs> it is December and we're doing new things in December, which is always yeah. But um, yeah, we uh, we packed everything up. It was in Nashville on Monday, and we drove back from Nashville because my sister. So you're lives crazy too. It's true. Um, <laughs> my sister lives in, just outside of Nashville, and we're doing a trunk show down there in a shop called Bliss, and they're they're so cute. And they have a sign on the door that says "Come and we are awesome." Oh. And I'm like, oh, so that's my shop. Yeah, because I always try to find my like, whole yarn shop. these colors. So. And this is the one that is going to grab this. Oh, yeah, do it. Because these are our farm to needle yarns. Switch. Switch. Can I not? Okay, yes. So these colors. Unsalted jumbo. What does that mean? It means it's a jumbo skein. Oh. So they're 135, 125 yards. And then the jumbo skeins are like six plus ounces. And they're ones that we worked with a farm in Wisconsin and they raise cooper and sheep. And then we work with a bunch of different farmers in Michigan that raise alpacas. So they're 50 50 alpaca cooper and have them spun up in uh, Bridgeman, Michigan. I hope hanger. And then we also have the smitten, which was the one that was featured in by hand. And smitten? Uh, smitten. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Finn and alpaca. It's a 70 30 mix. Ooh. We have a DK. Ooh, I have to feel this. It's amazing! <gasps> oh my god. And then knit up, it's like stitch Ooh, definition. That is gorgeous. And that little bit of alpaca gives it just a little bit of drape and a little bit of sheen, but it's not, you know, drunken alpaca like 100%. Yeah. We have a fingering <gasps> weight that so is the same makeup. Yeah. Spun up at Stone Hedge in East Jordan because they we usually send all of our fingering weight to them because they can comb it out. Oh yeah. And it just is a so what's that type of spin? I'm learning about spinning. What is that called when it's? It's it's not. They do um, I believe a woolen spin. I'm trying to remember. Woolen. I'm trying to Maybe. remember what they. Well, they have to. Um, a lot of places use a carder when they're blending the fibers, mm -hmm. and they card them, and they also put them through a, a combing machine, which blends them even more, so they can take them into a more consistent uh, pin drafting. Nice. And then you've got glitter. 
Oh, that is the shiny trophy. <gasps> Look at it. Looks like a what's the word? Uh, galaxy. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is really giving it justice, but like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the sparkle. And it's nice because I like having sheen, but I'd always want to look like I'm wearing paper. Like, yeah. And so I love sparkle, and I hate sparkle. It's this weird, like, love-hate relationship, because we all have those. Yeah. But this one is just, like, you know, fancy pants without being up in your face. That's amazing. You know that um, cowl, or no, it's a shawl that has the star... Um, the constellations. Yes. I forget what it's called. I think it might be called constellate. I think it might be called constellate. Um, my friend knit it in this, but I think hers was a darker gray. <laughs> but it looks so amazing because then it looks like the star is like shimmering throughout it. And she put a bead on every like yarn over for every it, yarn over. Because isn't it like fifteen hundred beads? Or it is so much. I think it's even more. But than it's than amazing. I th sorry, I threw my stuff down here in front You're of your fine. beautiful display. Yeah. <laughs> I was too excited. Junk in our trunks. <laughs> don't we all? And we do a, don't we? And when we bring a trunk show. We don't go halfway. This is amazing. But actually, this trunk has a story. Because oh yeah. Claire's. Um, Claire was it your great grandma, Roxy? Great grandma. Your grandma and your dad's side, right? And she was the uh, pediatrician. In like the 40s. Yeah. And her name is Roxy Holland Moritz. Like Roxy that, Holland that Moritz. Actual name. That's beautiful. And this was the trunk that she took as a kid, like going to Europe with her family. <gasps> and so it's. Oh my god. Yes, and we didn't have to injure it at all. It has these. Oh wow. Still from putting clothes in. Yeah. So we attached pegboard to the back of that, took out the drawers, put it in shelves, so we didn't have to hurt it in any way. Aww. And then we get to take Roxy with us. Oh, this that is, is so, so sweet. I love stuff like that. And that was kind of where things started, and then we started collecting trunks by accident on purpose. Sort of. Yes. <laughs> These bags? Yeah. Are they kits? They are grab bags. This is <gasps> oh, our, man. They are what we do um, did last year for the spun second birthday was we came to the trunk show and we made these grab bag pretty bags that the $20 ones have $40 oh, yeah. of merchandise. The that is so cool. Five and the $50 ones have at least eight. And we kind of went nuts and just grabbed everything and like put them in bags and patterns <laughs> and minis and skeins and uh, all the things. And here you are in front of the wall that I usually teach in front of. This is usually where our, our oh, teaching right. table is. Table. So... Yeah, I get to always, like, I'm always sitting here, and when people get stressed out, I reach behind me, and I grab one of these, and I say, here, pet, oh, it's pet okay, the yarn. Oh, you don't have to actually knit it. All done. Done. Yeah. Done. And it's beautiful. But yes, yeah, so that's my, one of my stress relievers when people start to get freaked out during classes. I just hand them yarn right there. It's awesome. It works. Hold it up, let's see. 
<laughs> Ooh, shawl pin. Very pretty. Oh, there's more. A pattern. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I just left Spun. I have some amazing yarn to show you. A cute project bag. Um, oh my God, they had the greatest cake. This chocolate cake with the most beautiful frosting filled with like raspberry something. It was so good. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive home now in the rain <laughs> and uh, I will catch up with you guys when I...